So I was wondering, what does the weather actually do on affecting the pint's range? When you have hot and cold, it affects batteries and performance and stuff like that. And I was very curious. So I collected some data. I did a bunch of tests. I had a controlled run that I would do that would always be the same, flat, same distance there and back. And I compiled all my data together to show you guys, is there really a difference between hot and cold weather with the one wheel pint? All right, this is gonna be my first test of cold weather range test. I got this extremely long, you can't really see it. It, it goes for a while, I've been down this trail. Uh, just straight flat, like nothing, just flat. So I think this will be ideal for this test. I'm currently at 96%, I don't know if you can see it there. Getting here it took 1.2K, it was kind of down for the most part. So I'm kind of basing it off of from here on. Um, and that's why I'll do my test. I'm gonna do this a couple times, I think. And then uh, for temperature today, we're at six degrees Celsius. Uh, the conversion's right here for you Americans. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to ride and roughly have a ballpark of when I come back. So yeah, here's cold test number one. Like I said, I'm gonna do this a couple times and like try to get some colder temperatures and take like an average. So it's a little more like better data, I guess. All right, let's ride. I've gone about, let me look at the app here, reconnect. I've gone 5.4K and I've, I'm at 55% battery. So I'm gonna start going back the same route I can't went and this will be my halfway point every time. This actually kind of funky looking house. And then uh, once I get back to where I started, I'll take the numbers from there. That'll be my test and I'll do it a bunch of times. Yeah. We're almost at the end point. The sun is setting and it's getting cold out. Yeah, and here we are. I got 20% battery and I went 9.5K. All right, that is test number one. Definitely should have got some gloves. My, I am so cold right now. But check this out. There's two dudes on like, I don't know, like the unicycle electric. Not a halfway mark. I sometimes get to, because I had jar surgery when I was younger, so I have metal plates in my face. And, uh, and when it gets cold, I start slurring words. We're at 50% of the battery, gone 5.6 kilometers. So halfway point, time to go back. Hopefully it makes it and I don't freeze to death. Let's go. And we are back to where we started. Battery check time. 13% at 9.6 kilometers. Like I said, I've done this a few times. Last time I'll, I'll put the screenshot. It was like 20%, I think, and it should be about the same distance. Should be obviously, but uh, yeah, that's already a big noticeable difference. I think I still need to do this a couple more times. You know, maybe this was an anomaly run for some reason. So now the thing is, is last time I did this, my battery died as soon as I got to my house. So I don't think I'll make it this time. I might be walking a bit. Yep, battery died. Time for another test. I 
to mention as well, it's, uh, it's about four or five degrees uh, Celsius right now. Um, so it's not as cold as last time, but still pretty cool. And here we are. I'm at my halfway mark again. Reconnect, 53% battery, 5.3 kilometers. I think that's right. All right, let's head back. I'm at 21% battery at my finish point here. 9.4 kilometers. So far, only the, the zero to minus one temperature has made a huge impact um, in this cold weather. So I think I need to try to get one more run like that if I can to really know. Hey, I'm here for the final winter test. It is a whopping, it's minus one right now. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do the final uh, cold weather test here. Nice sunny day and uh, yeah. I'm curious to see because I had the one test that was relatively uh, bad performance and it was in the minus temperatures. So we'll see how this goes. Also, if this sounds different or looks different, it's because I got my hands on a GoPro Hero 7 to film this today. I'm just trying it. So here we are. halfway mark yeah 51% I think that's pretty good I can't remember what the other stats were like um, and 5.3 K pretty sure that's right but uh, yeah time to get back all right 9.4 kilometers which i think is the norm that's i did the exact same route 12 percent battery left so that was actually worse i think than the last time it was this cold um i'm not gonna make it back to my place before the battery dies so i'm carrying it again great <laughs> all right <laughs> there that's the end of the cold test i'll have all the data collected and we'll we'll see how this looks and then six months later we're gonna do the hot test We are commencing the warm runs. Right now it's around 26 or 27 degrees Celsius. But anyways, let's go for the first run and see how it is. my halfway point well it's actually right there but the people are there and I don't want to stand in front of their house filming so what are we at 52% battery at 5.4 kilometers traveled so far so I can't remember what the old numbers were so yeah anyways let's head back train was very loud. All right, day two on the hot runs. Today is a whopping 27 degrees Celsius. Don't know that it's Fahrenheit. It'll be right here. But yeah, it's time for another run. see how we did. 52% battery, 5.3k. 
Yeah, everything seems normal. Time to head back. And we're back where we started. All right, we are at 23%, 9.5 kilometers traveled. Everything else looks relatively the same. A little less on the battery this time. It's pretty hot up today, which could be like not as great on the, the motor. All right, warm test number three. It is around 22, 23 degrees out right now. And let's go. Reach the halfway point. 52% battery, 5.3K, I think that's normal. Head back. That stretch back there, I literally went through like seven patches of bugs. I'm glad I have these on today. Made it back. My legs are actually kind of sore after this one. Let's see the results. Interesting, I'm at 19%. Everything else looks the same. Weird. One thing I can say is I was going consistently full speed. I didn't stop as much, like uh, the stop signs and lights and all that sort of stuff were in my favor. So that could be a factor for that being a bit lower than normal. Well, after many days and lots of waiting, I have all the runs done and I have, I think a pretty concrete answer on does weather affect the range on the one wheel pint? The hot or cold temperatures doesn't make a drastic difference. And the answer, no, it doesn't make a drastic difference, but there is a difference still. The difference between the hotter weather and the colder weather is very minuscule, enough that you probably won't even notice the difference unless you're getting into minus temperature Celsius or below 30 Fahrenheit. You will notice a difference in your range of maybe even up to 10% on your battery, which if you're aware of it, it's easy to plan for. So that's kind of the takeaway from this is just know that if it is quite cold out, you will lose a bit of range and take that into consideration when you go out on your trip. Some things I did learn from doing this test though, and things to consider if I ever was to do it again, is one, tire pressure. Maybe increasing the pressure might give me better range or give me different results. So that's one thing to factor. Another thing too is I'm going full speed the whole time, which is gonna drain the battery quicker. So the range I'm getting may not be the accurate range you should get with a pint. It's probably lower than it should be based on the fact that I'm going full speed pretty much the whole time. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I hope my experiment was beneficial to your knowledge of the one wheel pint. Yeah. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're new and you know, hit the bell if you really want to keep up to date with my videos and we'll see you in the next video. But for now, would you like to check out another video right here? Huh? Huh? You want to watch another video? Maybe? I don't know. All right. We'll see you later.